We had heard of covered bridges our whole life. I grew up with my mom's love of covered bridges being a staple. It was something that she decorated the house with, that she took us as children to see. So we all knew her love and it transferred to me and to Chico in 2006. And my mom had passed away in 2002. And so this was the first place I ever lived that she wasn't going to see. On the sad side, I wanted to have a piece of her where I now was living. And so when I discovered the Honey Run Bridge, I knew that it was my mom's way of saying, I'm here, <laughs> I'm with you. It was such a beautiful structure and kind of simple, nothing, you know, real crazy ornate or it just, just her. It was just chaos. It was just chaos. So that day was scary. It was such a level of fear I've never had in my life. Smoke was getting thicker. The sun was getting more beet red. Ash was raining down everywhere as if it was snowing. There was a panic that set in because nobody knew what to do. Just kept researching online to see what was going on. That's how I saw a picture of not the bridge itself on fire, but the fire right behind it. And oh, it was heartbreaking. It was absolutely heartbreaking because I saw the fire behind it, but you still had hope that it was okay. Because as, as you see when you drive in, it will be devastation and then a house is perfectly fine. And so you didn't know until we heard that for sure it was down. I was afraid to see it for the first time. But it was it was going to be okay. There's so much effort to rebuild it. That part got to be the hopeful part in such a devastating time. It's shocking to see it for your for yourself. We came back in December when I was working on the ornaments that were made out of the metal roofing. Some of it was salvaged. There was a whole effort to make heart ornaments. I believe the money raised totaled somewhere around. 51,000. I have such a large number of people that wanted this piece of the bridge. This bridge was special to thousands and thousands of people. So to have that gone, I think having it rebuilt will be, again, something hopeful, something that's more tangible than an entire community being gone. It's a, it's a bridge that seems maybe not so important because it was no longer used but what it represented and it represented um, the past coming together in a community and I think that it would be a way to look forward to what we have ahead because it will be a long road be a long road to rebuild but that's something that we could watch and participate and contribute and I'll be a part of again to represent the community that's here now.